blood will flow. IPOB sent strong warning to Tinibu over Kanu's detention. Reviews what happens if he dies. Good morning, everyone, and thank you all of you for tuning in and tuning in to, and tuning into this headline that we brought for you this morning. As our headline for this morning says that blood will flow. IPOB sent strong warning to Tinibu over Kanu's detention. Reveals what will happen if he dies. It says that in the recent statement regarding the perception of Mazin and the Kanu and the alleged mistreatment he has faced, have sparked concerns and calls for justice from various quarters. Supporters of the indigenous people of Brafia, IPOB, has raised alarm over the treatment of their leaders, asserting that he committed no crime and that it is the Nigerian government and its security agencies that have acted unlawfully. According to these claims, Mazi Inambikanu is being held in solidarity confinement by the Department of State Services DSS while suffering from a terminal heart and lung disease. Supporters from the IPOB argue that the Nigerian government and the British authorities who were involved in this arrest should not allow any harm to befall him. They argue that his life is of great significance and that any harm that comes to him could have, could have severe consequences for Nigeria and future generations. The IPOB supporters have called on Igbo politicians to make use of their influence to ensure that Mazi Namdekanu is not subjected to further harm and that he is released in good health and declared by the appeal, by the appeal court justice. They emphasize that the peaceful nature of IPOB should not be mistaken for weakness as they assert their capability to take on Nigeria if necessary. Igbo politicians must use the little opportunity they have wisely to ensure that the Nigerian government and Britain, who was to suffocate Martin Namdekanu gradually inside DSS solidarity confinement as he suffers a terminal heart and lung disease, do not do so. Irrespective of all the judicial abracadabra, the Nigerian government must ensure, ensure that our leader, Mazi Namdekanu, must not die in their hands or die shortly after his release. Mazi Namdekanu's life is, is a trigger that can consume Nigeria as the generation unborn. Those of who intend to tag us terrorists and those who are friends to Nigeria must advise the Nigerian government to release Mazi Namdekanu's healthy, healthy as the appeal court justice declared. The same peaceful IPOB seen worldwide is capable of taking on Nigeria when the need arises. This is not a threat, but a promise. During the last court appeal on March 19, 2024, Marzin Namdekan reportedly expressed concerns about his health, complaining of pains in his lungs and lumps, uh, lungs and lumps over his under his arms and armpits. He also alleged that the Nigerian government has intentions to gradually cause harm to him. The IPOB supporters rejected the use of what they describe as judicial abracadabra to keep Mazi Namdekanu detained until his health deteriorates to an incurable into an, deteriorates to an incurable level. They demand his unconditional release without any further harm inflicted upon him. They also called upon the international community, including the United Nations, European Union, and African Union (AMST), International Human Rights Watch, Inter Society, and other reputable human rights organizations, to pay attention to the situation and ensure justice is served. The statements made by the IPOB supporters reflect their deep concerns and frustration regarding the treatment of Mazi Inambikanu. They argue that his um, precaution is unjust and that it is the responsibility of the Nigerian government and the international community to protect his well-being and human rights. While these statements convey the grievance and fear of the IPOB supporters, it is essential for all parties involved to approach in this situation with caution and respect for the rule of law. It is crucial to establish the fact, conduct a true, to establish the fact, conduct a true investigation and ensure that justice is served. The well-being and human rights of all individuals must be safeguarded, and any allegation of mistreatment or unlawful act should be addressed and reflected through proper legal channels. In the pursuit of justice, it is crucial for all stakeholders to promote dialogue, understanding the peaceful resolution is, is through open and constructive engagement that lasting solution can be achieved ensuring the protection of human rights and fostering harmony among different communities in Nigeria.
And that is all we have concerning this headline for you all, which says blood will flow. IPOB sends strong warning to Tinibu, over kind of detention, reveals what will happen if he dies. And this that I just read to you all is a message from the people of the IPOB, people of the indigenous people of Brafia, Brafia telling Tinibu that this is what we're going to do if this man, our leader in Amdikanu, dies. Saying that he was taken in with good, a lot of health. But now, the, the way we are looking at it, it looks like you guys just want to kill him inside that cell. Because he complained of various even illness, this and that and this and that happening to him. Even he's saying that he's not receiving very good medical health care, even in the DSS. Saying that if he dies, a lot of blood will flow. That's what the IPOB is telling Tinibu as our president. Saying that he says that supporters of the IPOB that argue with the Nigerian government and the Britain, Britain authorities and who are involved in, in Abdikanu's arrest should not allow any harm to befall in Abdikanu. They argue that his life is of great significance and that any harm that comes to in Abdikanu should have se severe consequences. That any harm that comes before in Abdikanu will be treated with severe consequences for Nigeria's future generation. And the supporters of the IPOB, they called on the Igbo politicians to make use of their influence to ensure that Inamdikanu must not subject to, to must, not, must not be subjected to further harm. No harm must be fallen. You know, saying the Igbo politicians should use their influence to the, to the federal government, saying that that saying that and, and that he is released in good health. They declare that Inamdikanu being released, he must not die days after being released. He must not die before he's released. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Because it says that, irrespective of the judicial abracadabra of the Nigerian government, he's saying that the Nigerian government must ensure that our leader in Amdikanu must not die in the hands or die shortly after his release. Meaning that he must not die in jail or die shortly after his release. That anything that happens like this, a lot of blood will flow. A lot of crises will come. And that crisis and that blood will make big, bring a very big scar to the heart of Nigeria. To the heart of Nigeria as a whole. The federal government will see it. They will, they will see it, but they won't see it coming. That's the threat that the IP, these people of the IPOB are telling Tinibu and the whole federal government, Tinibu and his led administration. Or what do you guys think? Give me your comment in the comment section and don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. So I'll the notification bell.